I am a lawyer and recently appointed on the Council of Parts of Sydney. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Uh, first of all, I want to thank uh, also the General of Public Students uh, about uh, the Rwandan making this event uh, possible. You know, I have uh, been here for the last two and a half years. I came here during this COVID time. Uh, you know, I was appointed from the stuff uh, January 2020. Uh, all can understand English? Yes. Right, 2020. And uh, I could not come because of COVID. The six months ago, and around because all the way up to the close to uh, in Lamb and in uh, Pakistan. So the first available opportunity was in June. So I came here on the first of June. We were out for about a year. We were not really here because at that time, Pakistan. I know in Karachi because Mr. Janade was continuously at least with me. It was even worse than Islamabad. And uh, so our movement was respected. So when we start moving, we used to go to places where we had not gone. So it was Pejawal, Abu, and Faisalabad, all that. So we kept it for a little while. I'm sorry that I didn't come before. But uh, now it has been possible after we came, we discussed to come here. Then, of course, uh, we have just appointed uh, uh, Mr. Mahmoud Mandiwala. He's an eminent lawyer, barrister. He's also have been uh, in the provincial council for a little while. He's uh, multi -passionate. He has worked in Sri Lanka. He has many connections. His family is connected uh, in business and so on. So to have that bridge for us from Islamabad, uh, we find him uh, a very important person uh, in our team. So again, uh, I'm happy to have him. And from the onward, we'll be assisting uh, the council general here as well as uh, us in this campaign. Uh, whole purpose of talking to you all today is to see you, meet you, you know, have an informal chat. We don't have many uh, foreigners in Pakistan, not close to only about 400. And uh, most of them are scattered in Karachi. Uh, some are in uh, Punjab, but uh, mostly in Karachi, and uh, they're doing business. There are some students here, I wrote that we have a student be there. So, uh, what our attitude is very positive in, uh, in uh, uh, Islamabad, we don't keep anything for tomorrow. Whatever is available, we do it, take action immediately. And uh, challenges are uh, immense. To remember the problem we had in Seattle, and. Uh, it was only yesterday we managed to completely close the pipe. Yesterday or the day before. But it was done very well. I mean, we had the best of support from the government at that time. And the family is happy, although the, uh, the husband and the father cannot be found. But uh, the Pakistan government has given that amount of compensation. Uh, no other, uh, you know, such individual for it in any other case. So those are all the classes we have had. Uh, we uh, attend to all Sri Lankan issues, Sri Lankans, uh, whatever it is. Uh, we think it's your problem is our problem, but we tackle it. If you can't, we be very frankly say no, we can't. That is beyond us. Few things is, uh, as you say, we have about 440, we don't know the exact number here. What happens is we have a database maintained in the embassy. And, uh, each person who comes, they come to the Foreign Employment Bureau, get registered. If not, they don't get registered. But then now, after they come, they communicate with us and then they send the information to us, so we keep on updating. And we have to send a report. We send a report to them saying that so many students, so many, and even the category wise, you know, what uh, the employment you are in, what we keep them informed. And uh, so that is something uh, the person come, uh, has been trying to uh, develop on the databases, although, I mean, we are, it's easy for us, but there are certain countries, like Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and uh, Qatar, and other places, there are thousands of Sri Lankans.